What's up, YouTube? It's Rob DJ Bill here again. Quick, impromptu review, and I felt the need to do this because I actually took, you know, a walk on the niche side today. I didn't buy anything, but I actually went out to my local uh, store and went to the Creed counter and had a chance to smell various Creed fragrances that get a lot of hype, a lot of buzz, and um, this is what I figured out. Um, what I've heard from so many different, you know, fragrances that uh, do reviews. What I liken this to is uh, being a, a audiophile. It's like stereo equipment, and I'm going to give you a small example. It's like hearing, you know, a song that you are familiar with played on, you know, a decent home system. All right, you know, somebody you know, or even yourself, you've got a decent home system. You've got, you know, let's say Pioneer receiver, um, a Denon CD player. Let's say you've got maybe some Clips speakers. Okay, and then you go to uh, somebody's house and they've got, you know, Conrad Johnson, uh, you know, amp, preamp, maybe a carry CD player, or maybe they have like a Lynn record player, you know, reference edition, and it's all class a they can if they're playing side by side there are differences subtle differences some not so subtle you know you may hear a difference in clarity sound stage etc but there's a difference um if you hear them, if you hear them totally separate you might say man this one sounds amazing and this one sounds good it's the same thing with fragrances i smell you know some of the uh, Creed fragrances and I right away noticed the freshness that everybody talks about there is a freshness that you get when you smell those fragrances that you don't necessarily get from the copies um, is the difference those small differences are they worth it that's the question I mean that's what you have to ask yourself if you're looking at equipment you know you can get yourself a really nice setup let's say for 1500 bucks or for 3500 bucks you can get some you know stuff that's closer to class a and there's a nice difference. it's not a huge not taking this huge leap but there is a difference nonetheless and the cost for that difference is a lot more so i get it um what i got though it was something right off the top i had the young lady um well i walked to the counter and i said do you guys have any samples i wanted to get a sample of green irish tweed and I wanted to get a sample of Royal Oud. Um, and I sprayed um, on my hand, I sprayed Himalaya. And I sprayed on a, a card, uh, Silver Mountain Water, just to kind of get a feel of it. Um, I liked Himalaya. Um, Silver Mountain Water, I actually have what's a copy of it. And I have to give the nod to Silver Mountain Water. But the copy is a pretty good copy. And I think if you can't afford the Silver Mountain Water, this is one to go and pick up. This is one to go and pick up, and this is called Sun Java White. All right, now if you can check that by Frank Olivier. Sun Java White. I think this is like a 2.5. You can kind of see the nod to Silver Mountain Water with that mountain at the bottom. Um, this smells a lot like it. Um, Silver Mountain Water is a lot fresher. Uh, it's kind of got that florally vibe to me, soapy, florally. It kind of reminds me of a lotion that um, I remember from being a kid at my grandmother's house. Can't put my finger on it, but that's what it triggers for me. I won't get into the notes because you can always go online and check them out for yourself. But if you need a copy, again, this is very close to it. It's not Silver Mountain Mortar, but it's very close to it. And if you, you know, can't afford to spend. I think it's like 180 or 220 for like a, a, a 2.0 a or 2.5 or something like that. I mean, this is 20 bucks. You can get this all day online shipped for like between 22 and 25 bucks. eBay and various other sites online, guys. And this is Sun Java White, okay? Frank Olivier. Um, another thing I noticed when I smelled green Irish tweed, I actually sprayed it on my left hand. And I can still smell it. As soon as I sprayed it, I remember it triggered something in my memory. I've got something that smells like this. What is it? 
thought for a second. Boom. This is not a copy. This is not a cheap fragrance, but it smells to me a lot like green Irish tweed. Now, you know, you may say no, but it's very similar. I'm not saying it's a copy. It's, it's, it's exact. It shares a lot of the same notes, and that's Catan for men. All right. I picked this up on eBay, I want to say, for um, 40 bucks. 40 bucks shipped. I mean, you can get it for more. I mean, they sell it. You can find this at Nordstrom's and all of the other finer retailers. And I want to say it's probably like like 75 bucks. But this is a 2.5, and I got this for 40 bucks shipped. So if you do some digging and searching, you might run across it on Amazon, eBay, or some of those other discount sites. This is a really nice scent, and it smells a whole heck of a lot like green Irish tweed. I think it's got a couple of like <clears throat> fruity notes in it that green Irish tweed does not have, but this this is the first thing I thought of. As soon as I sprayed it, I'm like, this smells like something in my collection, and then shortly afterwards, this popped in my head. So, you know, this is a great scent. I think this is a, I think it's a scent from, from the UK. I can't remember for certain, but this would be something to definitely go and check out. You know, if you don't have any in your collection, I highly recommend you check it out. Good time for men. You know, if you want to find out the notes, go to Freak Grandica, bass notes, what have you. All right, so that's another one. Uh, one that I kind of just wanted to talk about was um, uh, another one I picked up from a shop close to my crib. Um, they sell, like, different types of, like, you know, handmade soaps, lotions, etc. I went in to find if they had, I went in to find out if they had any men's fragrances. And at first she said, well, she had the Crabtree and Evelyn scents. But then she uh, said, oh, yeah, we've got this over here. You might like this. And it's uh, called Boticario di Havana. All right. I don't know if you can really make that out. Um, Boticario di Havana. And it's the, I think the maker is Arc Apeglio. It's Arc, A-R-C-H. Then it's I P. E L A G O. So when you read the side, it says personal fragrance formula number 112, authentically blended with orange blossom, patchouli, bergamot, and honeysuckle. What this smells like to me is a straight up orange zest, you know, and so ironic. I know um, Terry Mugler just came out with that, uh, I think it's original zest or orange zest or whatever it's called, the new fragrance that's, uh, it's just like orange. And this smells just like. If you took a zester and peeled off the zest of an orange, that's what this smells like all day long. You know, it's a really nice smelling scent. Um, I got it for $39.95. And this is a two, I think a 2.5. You can find this online too. Uh, this is a, I take that back. This is a 1.8. I'm sorry. It's a 1.8. So this is a great fragrance. Uh, I think it's, I think it's a good fragrance for the spring and for the fall. Um, summertime, I think it just depends on the situation. Uh, maybe not when it's, you know, 85 degrees and up, but on those days when it's in the 80s, I think this would be a great scent to rock. It would be, I think it's all occasions, all purpose, fresh, clean smelling scent. So, hey, check that one out. And last but not really, nice one, pardon the interruption, uh, latest acquisition, um, Bulgari Man in Black. Um, kind of like an oriental spicy a uh, little bit of wood. It's got a little boozy note to it. Um, it's got some tobacco. It's a great scent. Great fragrance. This is a newer scent. Um, I think it just came out either in late uh, 2014 or early this year, but I think it came out late last year. Vagari Man in Black. If you get a chance to check it out, check it out. I won't get into all the notes. I mean, you can go and find out all of the individual notes online, but this is a really nice scent. I think it's a evening late night date night scent probably something to wear preferably spring fall winter uh but you know you decide if you want to wear it in the summertime do it i just think it's a little heavier scent it's a darker scent richer scent but it's a great scent nonetheless and uh definitely you just need to get up on this one bulgari man in black uh, also so cool what's so cool about the free the uh creed counter they actually sprayed me two sample bottles all right they didn't have any samples they gave me a sample of the green irish tweed and they gave me a sample of uh royal oud so i'm gonna check these out and uh see what i think the royal oud is one that i kind of kind of been thinking about trying to pick up if i'm gonna take 
a dip into Creed, um, that and the Venice. So, hey, that's the quick review for the day. Thanks for checking it out. Leave a comment if you want to. Uh, also check out the website, morethanmusic.com. Peace.